Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Rakha, Chodash. Shalom, la b'chayarim, shal yasha Allah. Even all, of course, praises to Yahweh b'Hashem Yahushai b'Hashem Rechakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who well in peace and salutations all sincere achim. They're out there lifting up the name of Yahweh b'Hashem Yahushai in all truth and sincerity and diligently, of course, making their bodies a living sacrifice to Yahweh b'Hashem Yahushai, proper and acceptable. Of course, uh, working out their own salvation in fear and trembling in these last days. Of course, um, I said, uh, peace uh, be to the election of the nation of Israel, which the nation of Israel consists of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And of course, since our sea has been scattered amongst the heathen, we have those that may look like the heathen because we are scattered amongst the four winds. But their lineage, by the way of their father, go back to a Hebrew is like one of the 12 sons of Yaakov or Jacob, whose name was later changed to Israel. Okay, and that makes them a Hebrew is like, okay, through, of course, the blood. All right, and it's all determined due to the Rechak Wadash, the Holy Spirit, in which if their spirit bear witness with our spirit, they are the, the children of the power, as is written in the book of Romans, the eighth chapter, I believe, around this. What's that, the 16th verse? All right, so I'm the brother Mappa, Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in the city of Philadelphia, PA. Coming again with another lesson due to Chakwadash, which this should be a rapid fire, real quick lesson. Which what we have here, which Achim had, of course, posted up, which it reads here off of the RT News Russia takes steps to survive global internet shutdown with own web. It says Russia is preparing itself to be disconnected from the World Wide Web. The lower house of parliament passed and it's reading a law ensuring the security of the Russian part of the internet as the bill envisions the runet the Russian segment of the internet being able to operate independently from the rest of the world in case of a global malfunctions or deliberate internet disconnection the measures to ensure the internet stability include the creation of the national D and S system that stores all the domain names of corresponding IP numbers. The new legislation was drafted in response of the new US cyber strategy that accuses Russia along with China, Iran, and North Korea of using cyber tools to undermine its economy and democracy. It also threatens dire consequences for anyone conducting cyber activity against the US. It says the autonomous system would ensure that Russia doesn't face a total internet shutdown if relations with West, if the West completely collapse and the U.S. goes as far as cutting off the U.S. or Russian, Slovakia, which means, excuse me, IP addresses from the World Wide Web. It says back in 2012, the president, U.S., uh, the U.S. president, Barack Obama, signed an executive order allowing him to take control or whatever president is in office all right a uh control of all communication on american soil including those crucial of the normal operations of the internet it says the 
U.S. National Security Agency actually caused a three-day internet blackout in Syria in November 2012. Whistleblower Edward Solden uh, told Wire Magazine says the NS NSA hackers accidentally bricked one of their core routers while trying to install spyware on it. So, as you see, um, Russia, which is Gog and Magog, also the Medes, um, when you read in certain places in the scriptures, all right, uh, Isaiah, um, you, know, you read into uh, Ezekiel 38 chapter, uh, they are identified as um, the Russians, all right, which is a main enemy, which they are Edomites, Adawamium, which means red, which the Edomites are the so-called Caucasians, all right, and they are the wicked of the earth in which they have control of the earth. The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. And the Lord is going to use these so-called uh, Russians, which, you, which they're Edomites, Putin and such, to destroy America via ICBM missiles, okay? And of course, Russia, all right, um, and you say China is certain places. They, they It's um been noted that I believe... I have to, of course, look it up, but Ak had told me at one time recently that Russia has access to the grid, all right, in which also, if you don't know, the Department of Homeland Security issued a warning telling people to prep for at least six months with being without power and, and other various forms of essentials, okay, in which... Is absurd because you know as uh, it has been brought out in the information um, there are certain laws that prevent you from holding um, you know mass quantities of food and such and water and such because the military can of course seize that in the time of a national emergency being declared okay you can of course go into that uh, information okay but as you see it that is being projected it's being told that there's going to be a a grid all right a grid attack okay it may be in the form of an emp or electromagnetic pulse which will knock out power and put this place uh, out of uh, of course the use of most of their um you know their power generators okay the use of cars and various devices they won't be usable okay and we're just gonna go back basically back to how things were in the ancient world and you know our times when uh, i believe it's they say as 100 years back all right where things were just done old school by hand you have to start a fire and such you know um you know conventional ways and such traditional ways and such all right not of course having a, a guy stool for a wee uh spark and such you know to do so all right, all of that will be cut off in them days. Okay, so you have it here that there's going to be a, as it's going to be an internet shutdown, which is part of the scriptures. Okay, it's in the Bible as a prophecy, which ultimately this deals with the prophets of the Haba Shem uh Ha Nabayayim. All right, Nabaya means prophet, which uh, prophets say before Yum makes it plural, so Nabayayim. All right, they of course mean uh, the 144,000 prophets, okay, um, which are Ibadium, they're servants of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, okay, of the Lord. Yahweh is the true, mighty, powerful name of the Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son's true and powerful name is uh, Yahweh Shai, all right? Is, uh, Yahweh is He is, He exists, He to be. Yahweh Shai is He the Deliverer, all right? And they, of course, to bring um, salvation. Okay, the, the Lord, the Most High is going to bring salvation to the elect of Israel on this side via, of course, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and of course, he's coming with the hosts of the angels to deliver the election. All right. Now, of course, before that happens, much things are going to occur, such as Internet shutdowns. Okay. And our, us being the prophets, us being withdrawn from the streets, withdrawn from the Internet in which this is the main form of how we get out these video epistles okay the so-called letters okay okay in the ancient world there were letters written now of course we have the internet 
okay, which is written in the scriptures, which I'm just going to quickly get. This is uh, the book of Psalms 19 and 1. It says, To the chief musician, a psalm of Dawadah, the heavens declare the glory of the Most High, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. All right. It said, which you have it up in the heavens in the, uh, by, uh, in the Shemayim. You have, of course, the satellites and such. Okay. It's the unicorn written in the scriptures. All right. It says, Day unto day utter his speech, night unto night showeth knowledge, which, you know, do, of course, these satellites, we were able to, you know, uh, have information being uh, received and distributed, all right, out to the four corners of the earth, and people in various countries across the globe can access this Amath, or, or Za Amath, the truth, okay, and learn, okay. It says, there is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. They're lying, okay? They say a World Wide Web, okay? Is gone out throughout, through all the earth, okay? And their words to the end of the world, okay? And them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, all right? And you know that the sun, it represents knowledge, okay? It says, which is a bridegroom cometh out of his chamber and rejoices as a strong man that to, to run a race. It says his going forth is from the end of heaven and his circuit. Of course, this earth is round. All right. It's not flat unto the ends of it. It has and nothing. There is nothing hid from the heat thereof. Okay. So, you know, that's basically plain. This is going into the internet, all right? Which I'm going to get one more scripture. This is going to be the book of Romans. The book of Romans 10 and 18. And it reads, But I say, I, I, it says, But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, meaning truly, or con. There soon went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. All right, and that's how our words go out. It goes out via this internet, okay? Which you know, es Esau, the so-called white man, went out, went out, all right, into, of course, the permanent outer space, and of course, placed these, uh, you know, these various uh, satellites out there, and that's how we can, of course, achieve to get this word out. You know, it can be broadcast to the ends of the world, and thus bringing forth the end, okay? Because we are fishers of men. We're fishing out, the, of course, the elect of the nation of Israel to wake up to this truth, to be sealed with this knowledge, to receive that what? The why, which is the mark of exemption, to be delivered from the coming destruction. Okay? Because you have to understand that wisdom, as written in the book of Isaiah 33 and uh, what's that? Six, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. So you have to have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, which you get from just logging on, you know, on the internet and such, okay? So I want to go to another scripture, okay, which this is going to be the book of Ecclesiasticus, the fourth chapter. And I'm going to start at. verse 23 it says and refrain not to speak when there is occasion to do good hide not thy wisdom and her beauty for by speech wisdom or hakama all right which is uh ha or the i bar yath all right hebrew the bar word or, or the hebrew word kaya wisdom or for wisdom is hakama all right, shall be known and learning or the mod, I believe that is modium learning or teach. Uh, let me see by the word of the tongue. Okay, that's how wisdom is known, which is known by hearing the words of the prophets. Okay, so we're not to refrain to speak when there's occasion to do good. All right, now you have to use wisdom, of course within everything's written in the scriptures because you know that we're not supposed to cast our pearls before swine all right 
in which the Lord weeds out these uh, devils anyway. You know, they'd be offended by certain things that we bring out in the scriptures. And, you know, that, of course, just marks them as that they're, of course, against their anti hamashiach or anti-anointed. They're against, the, of course, the Messiah, which is Yahweh Shai. And they're against the Most High, Yahweh. All right. Um, so, of course, you know, the, the, the wisdom is known by our speech. And, and of course, the word which we are the mouthpiece or uh, hapa, all right, of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Pa meaning the uh, mouth of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, the prophets, okay? That's how the Lord, of course, speaks and brings out what he wants, all right? He speaks through his prophets. You know, as you see, we, we of course, speak the words which are written in the scriptures and break it down, make it plain upon table so that you can understand it, all right? So it's no excuse for you to uh, say, oh, I didn't know or nothing like that, all right? Because we, of course, make it plain, all right? This is going to be the book of Malachi, all right? Um, I believe I'm going to go to Malachi 2 and 7. It reads here, for the priests are priests when you go into the Hebrew. That's, I believe it's the word kahan, all right? A ka and a ha and a nan that's priests all right it says the priests which we are priests all right of uh yahweh shimmy shai under the order of melchizedek which melchizedek was one of yahweh shai's of course uh, uh reincarnations all right reincarnations okay if you could receive it all right so i'm gonna real quick this hebrew 7 and 17 it says for or actually i'm gonna start here uh, first Peter's um, 2 and 9 it says but ye are a chosen generation a royal priesthood a holy nation or separate nation from the rest of these people Kodash. all right uh, it says a peculiar people a strange people all right that ye should show forth the praises of of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light all right that uh, you know your pa awar all right a beautiful light okay which i said in the hebrew okay he called us out of that he gave us this knowledge and now we're what children of the light and not in the darkness so we know what's going to happen all right because he gave us uh, this this beautiful truth okay which is it's, it's, it's one of them it's the greatest thing that has been you know given on to us the comfort or the truth knowledge you know and able to, to deliver us and bring us to life and to quicken us all right make us alive all right so it says here, for the priests, lips should keep knowledge, and, and, and they should seek the law at his mouth, all right? For he is the messenger of Yahweh of hosts. So we are what? We're also at, known as, we're angels as well, because an angel is nothing but a messenger, okay, of the most high Yahweh, all right? And we, we keep the knowledge, okay? And we how about Shimia Shai and we of course distribute it. Okay, and we of course being at Great Millstone, um, we of course are the most diligent Hebrew Israelite camp, which have a hundred percent a moth or hundred percent truth, okay? Call a moth, all right, all truth, okay, of the scriptures. Okay, and that's why it is very wise or prudent unto you to of course receive this truth while it's of course accessible because it's going to come a time and when it's going to be withdrawn from this place all right and it's and it's very smart or be very prudent for you to of course be attentive all right um to the men of the lord okay which when you go to the book of i'm just going to bring it out right here this is uh going to be the book of ecclesiastes the um it's going to be the third chapter in the Apocrypha, which is part of the original King James Bible, if you didn't know, which in the 16, what's that? No, 1776, the Bible Destruction Group took these out because obviously it reveals who Esau Edom is, all right, which is the uh, Edomites, okay? They are the wicked of the earth, reigns out the history and the Greeks, all right? All of that, okay? They're Edomites, okay? Uh, brings out a lot of things, okay? Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth and that of course hearing these things are not of course um, it's not good for them to hear because obviously 
it tells you what the future is going to be all right so of course they took these books out all right to try to what they try to disrupt prophecy in all different type of ways you know but this worry how about shimmy shai as it was preserved okay and preserved with his men all right so this is going to be the book of uh Sharap, chapter three and i'm going to go to verse 29 which it reads the heart or the mind of the prudent will understand a parable right which this all right this was only given on to the the lek all right to be able to understand okay it's on to us to be able to understand to the rest is just nothing but what it's um they they, they can't understand it okay to a lack of words and such all right that's why the lord spoke in parables but he you know have it where the elect they will understand the sheep know his voice and they follow him, all right it says in attentive ear is the desire of a wise man okay you know which we you know we want of course the the elect because it's only the elect that's gonna shemai or listen which when you go into shemai it means also to obey okay they're gonna obey the words of y'all by shimmy all right <clears throat> now i want to go to the book of um, amos the fifth chapter and this is gonna be verse 18 and it says, Woe meaning destruction unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord, Yahweh, is darkness and not light. And that's that's very true because this is going to be lights out. It's going to be lights out for your internet. It's going to be lights out for all of your different forms of securities. Okay, it's going to be a time of martial law, major death and destruction out here. Yaquab Tazara, as is written in scriptures, or Jacob Trouble. All right, a time that has never been seen before. When, of course, uh, the, the um, Archangel Michael, or I think it's Michael, I got to go into it. But Michael in Hebrew. Um, He's going to have to stand up for the elect, okay? The, the, the angels are going to have to, of course, as you, you know, the angels that are camped around them that fear the most high, they're going to protect the elect in that time. It's going to be so crazy out there, all right? But we're going to be fine if we are, of course, a part of the election, all right? Which the election, all right, deals with the chosen, all right? And that's the best rules. That's the first fruits of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Starts with the 144,000 prophets, all right? Now, it says here, I'm going to skip down to verse uh, 20. It says, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it. All right. And, it, you know, you're going to have it where, is you, you know, you ain't going to be able to access this truth. All right. Comes out through our mouths. All right. And the Lord's going to withdraw us. All right. This right. I'm going to go to the prophecy. Made one of the main prophecies is Amos 8 and 11. It says, Behold, the days come, said the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of a lachum or bread. All right, so it's not going to be a famine of bread. All right, but though there's going to be a famine, but this is specifically speaking about what? Nor of a thirst of water. All right, not of, 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 of Mayim. All right, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. All right, which, you know, these words can lead you to salvation. All right. It says, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from north even to to the east and shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh and shall not find it. It says, in that day, the fair virgins, all right, which I believe that's, let me see, you got beautiful, what's that, Yapa, yeah, Yapa Bathwala, all right, this woman of marital age, I believe, you go into it, Bathwala virgin all right uh it says that going back it says in that day our by your wom all right um that day shall the fair virgins and the young men all right i believe in the young men is young men will be not let me see if i can go into it they got bacha war all right youth young men another word all right which is that's basically what i'm saying on that i'm gonna go and continue on it says uh men faint it says in that day 
shall the fair virgins and the young men faint for thirst. And they want to hear this because out of our mouths, of course, uh, flow rivers of uh, uh, living water. All right. You know, and, and, and we're going to be withdrawn. The Lord is going to have it where he's going to uh, close the gates of mercy. All right. Which that chasad, that mercy, that uh, chan, or that grace period is right now. All right. In which you're supposed to get this truth with all that get and get understanding. Okay. And make no tearing to turn to the Lord. And that's, um, you read that in uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, the fifth chapter and the seventh verse, which I'll get that really quick. Uh, this rapid fire just going through the Rechak Wadash. It says, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall wrath of the, of the Lord Yahweh Shai come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Because you don't have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So you're not going to have the, dis the discretion or the discernment, all right, to, of course, know what to do in that time all right you're not going to understand what's going abroad all right what's going to boot in the world as everything is going to buggery all right going down uh to my last scripture i believe is going to be the book of ezekiel the third chapter in the 26th verse and this is another you know going to an allegory parable type of thing all right which the bible is written in the code so we break it down it says and this is ezekiel 3 and 26 and i Will make my make thy tongue cleave to the root of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb. All right, somebody who's dumb is what? They're mute. Okay, they kindly speak. All right, just so that you understand. That's alam in the Hebrew, alam, which it just means to be dumb. All right, kind. You can't. You put the silence. Okay. Because you can't, you know, kind of speak. All right. So this is, you know, this is speaking as a, you would say what, like metaphorically, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Just a parabolic talk. Right. It says, and I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth. Meaning he's going to put us to silence. That thou shall be dumb and, and thou, and, and suck it. And it says, and shall not be to them a reprover, a corrector, for they are a rebellious house. All right, so the Lord is going to make it where he's going to silence us by what? He's going to withdraw us from the highways and hedges. He's going to put us, of course, in the secret places. All right, because first of all, we got to be uh, batak. We got to be safe in the times of these, this, this destruction. There's going to be race wars, famine, pestilence, riots, um, pandemic. Everything is going to be out here. You know, it's going to be uh, uh, Rashai or evil. Uh, all right, spirits out here, apparitions, okay? The place is going to be plagued. It's going to be all sorts of madness out there. So the Lord is going to withdraw us, okay, from the streets, okay? And then you're not going to have, of course, the Israelites able to, what, get this truth, and they're going to get destroyed, okay? The ones that are not of the elect, okay? It says, but when I speak with thee, I will open my mouth and... I will say unto them, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, He that heareth, let him hear, and he that forbeareth, let him forbear, for they are rebellious. Hell, host. Yeah, you know, so whoever hear this word, they get this truth. And he who that don't get this truth, then so be it. That You know, the, the ones that's going to get the truth will get it. And those who won't get it, you know, it's not destined for them to get it. Obviously, they're going to get destroyed. All right? Let them forbear. Let them, let them forsake this truth, okay? Let, let them be destroyed, okay? You know? So, you know, because it's all about predestination anyway. So, well, anyway, that's a, you know, quick lesson. Just wanted to go through the Chakwadash. Hopefully, you're edified. Call Allahim la Yahweh Hashem Shai. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, wa Yahweh Shai. And, of course, uh, double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom, la b'chayaryim, shal the yasha'ala, to the election of the nation of Israel. All right. Russia takes out, takes steps to survive a global internet shutdown with it, with his own web. This is because they're going to shut down the internet ultimately, okay? Completely. All right? This is just telltale signs. All right? Going to the net neutrality too. All right? Shalom.